Nice meeting you, bud. You have a good day. Right, See you later. Have a good day. Glenn, how are you doing today? Good. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, we're going to make your day a little better. Let's see what you got in this thing. Okay, so a little worn, a little deep, but it's kind of cool. 1988 Gibson SG. And this one's kind of a different guitar. They did 200 of them. Um, it has black hardware, factory EMGs. It's actually a 62 reissue, small guard, wide headstock, but factory EMG. The blue and that pink. Yeah, that is a blue so colorful. Metallic. And it's what they call a showcase edition. They did, you know, 200 of them, period. Grover showcase hardware. Showcase edition. Really nice paint. And I've seen a few since the 80s. So active EMGs stock. Stock batteries under the pit guard. Under the pit guard. Which is cool. There's no, well, they routed under there for the battery, but they, there's nothing tore up. This is the way it came from the factory. Uh, this was, they did several guitars. I've even seen 335s from the Showcase Edition with the factory EMGs. And here's the deal these aren't the newer plug in EMGs, these are the original EMG 81 soldering pickups. Okay. 25K pots, the whole bit. This yeah, because when you now no, normally let me, let me ask you a few questions. So with EMGs, use twenty five k pots. Exactly. The old Gibsons with just your passive pickups used was it two fifty five hundred five hundred as a rule. Gibson went with three hundred k, which will make the neck pickups a little brighter. A lot of guys hate the three hundred k pickups, but I've actually put three hundred k pickups in the neck of a Les Paul when it was too dark. But you had to use the twenty five k pots with these. Uh -huh. These things scream. They okay. absolutely scream. And if you if you wired them up with 500k pots, they would just noise. They would be and dark and, and just muddy as okay. hell with 500k. Like pots. you have your distortion box turned on. No, it would it would sound like a, an old fat guy getting dragged down the street by a pickup truck. <laughs> it, it would just be flop. I've flop. never heard that, but it would not sound good. It wouldn't be a sound you would want to hear. Awesome. What is the name of this color? You know, it's a, some type of metallic blue that they did it in. And this one's in good shape. It's got some, you can see some marks in here, light marks. It's got one mark here, but I'm not complaining because just trying to get one. It, it's just not a guitar you're going to see. And, you, and usually seeing one in this condition is not easy to do. 1988. 1988, which was right at that, you know, EMG was making a name for What happens when you're out one. playing a gig and your battery goes dead? Oh, you put a new battery in before you go out on stage, sir. Almost every time. Or you what, fire the roadie. What do you think the, the battery life on I, something like you that You know what? Be? I ran EMGs for months. You get men, months out of them. They're pretty efficient. Uh -huh. um, but if you don't get a regular date that I'm going to change it every so many days, they will die at the wrong time. I'll tell you that much. They will die at the wrong time. If you don't uh -huh. like anything else. My, a lot of my BC riches with batteries, I change the batteries regularly because you don't uh -huh. want them to die at the wrong time. This one's cool, though. For, you know, a 62 reissue or 61 reissue is what this was actually styled like. I always ask about these, uh, the you know, the inserts, the fret markers. What, what do you call them? Trapezoid. Those? Trapezoid. Yeah. And these are kind of pretty, and, and, and the, road, the board's pretty nice. It's nice rosewood on it. It's got some colors. It's got some fading, though, but I mean... The guitar itself is as fast as lightning, and it's just one of those Gibson SGs that's different. And sometimes different is really good. In this particular case, 1988 Showcase Edition, I'll buy that for a dollar. You know so I mean? you hear stories about Gibson ha having their ups and their lows this and good an time period. This was an up period. 88 was a this good... This is the late 80s, the hair bands, the heavy, hard-driven rock tones out there at the whiskey. All the stuff and I love. This, Yeah, and this was the holy grail. EMGs and an SG from the factory. Uh -huh. and, and they did 335s. I've seen Showcase Edition Les Pauls with EMGs from that time period. But they only made 200 of this. So how many are out there now that didn't get, you know, trashed back in the late 80s, early trashed 90s? Trashed or refinned or something. Yeah. Or the pick somebody or the pickups, the pickups the harvested out. out for something else. Yeah. This one's, a, this one's original and it's kind of cool. I love this guitar. It's just a fantastic SG. 
Pitcher stuff's cool, but... Well, you want to let me play that thing for a minute? Yeah, buddy, you can play that. All right, here we go. Let's hear it. All right, Logan, let's hear what that thing sounds like. How's the action on that thing? How's that play? It's um super low, super comfortable, but there's no fret buzz whatsoever. So oh, there you go. You have no problems with anything. Um, it's super easy. It's effortless to get up to that. Yeah, plenty of twenty second there. Fret. Metalheads can use, huh? It's yeah, it's got metal. the EMGs. That really new metal, spring. old yeah. metal. EMG 81s. Any kind of metal you want. Air metal. That's the ones that do it. you got guitarbazaar.net guitarbazaar.net check it out okay thanks for watching guys later